Have some states had more success than others in controlling costs and the utilization of prescription drugs? Yeah, absolutely. And really to start with, it's kind of interesting. Back throughout the last couple decades, most of the states were really focused on the unit price or the cost of the pill from a fee schedule standpoint, which not saying that's not important, it's very important. But in recent years, we have seen certain states really focus on more of the utilization of the drugs, which is not all about the cost. It's, it's ba basically the utilization which drives cost, but also there's other key factors that, that occur because of the overutilization of medications. A good example is, is Texas. They actually have a closed formulary and are utilizing the ODG guidelines in place. And early results show that it has been very effective in controlling utilization. More to come on that, but um, there was a lot of effort that actually goes into coming up with the utilization management program, even in this case, Texas. There was a lot of influence in education. Texas was very open to hearing the experts in this case, whether it's the insurance company or the pharmacy benefit managers. So where Texas landed is great, there might be some modifications, but to think that that exact model is gonna work in other states, it may not. So yes, you can use it as a benchmark, but there's a lot of education that needs to occur in other states in order for that to happen. So, so it's really crucial that we do take this to other states. And because of this opioid epidemic, the states are very willing to listen. So I think there's an opportunity from both the payer community, the employer community, and the pharmacy benefit managers to really increase their efforts to push these utilization management policies into other states.